I made a mistake when I was installing the mini condensate pump. Today, I'm going to teach you what mistake I made so that you don't make the same mistake and you don't reduce the efficiency of the mini condensate pump that you're installing and that it lasts longer. So what mistake did I make? See this? This is an anti-siphon device. This is installed right now before the pump, which I put right here so you can see it, before the pump, and it's after the reservoir, which is inside the mini split. This anti-siphon device should be installed about six inches after the pump. So that would be in the discharge line, not the input side of the pump or before the pump, but on the output side of the pump. Today, I'm gonna to remove this. I'm gonna install it after the pump, and then I'm gonna pour some water into the condensate or into the drain pan of the wall mount air handler, and then I'm gonna show you how this works. Will it work the way it is? Yes, it will work, but it's gonna reduce the efficiency and it, the pump is not gonna last as long. So I want to correct my mistake today and I wanna do it on camera so that you know the right way to do it. Now, if you wanna see the full video where I install a mini condensate pump and I talk about maintenance and the proper installation and the wiring, check out the link right here or go down in the description to check out that link. Today, we're gonna to correct that mistake. I've installed a new tube from the inlet side of the pump down through the line hide cover. And now I'm gonna remove the anti-siphon device because I'm gonna install it up here about six inches from the pump. This tube is gonna to go to the reservoir. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to the reservoir and then I'm gonna hook this up in here. Now we're gonna cut this tube. I'm going to install the anti-siphon device. <clears throat> All right. Right. Like this. <clears throat> All right. That's what it should look like. I went ahead and disconnected it. In, and then I'll have to mount it back in place. I'm going to show you in today's video why I installed the anti-siphon device in the wrong place and I'm going to show you the manual. Now let's pour some water in it and watch it pump the water out. Here's a manual that's online. Page 12 shows you anti-siphon device being placed after the pump, after the pump, after the pump, up here, after the pump. So you can see. So here's a manual and I was looking at this page and I saw where it had that siphon after the reservoir and before the pump. And this is what confused me. This is the reason that I put the siphon before the pump. Now if I'd have looked over here on this page, siphon after the pump. Now that we've installed the anti-siphon device in the correct place, we're ready to test the pump. As far as pump location, it can be above the ceiling, it can be in the line hide cover, sometimes you can mount it inside the mini split in an area where it can be concealed. It depends on how much room you've got in your mini split, whether you can do that. Now when I did this original video, I said in the description what I did wrong and where you should install the anti-siphon device. However, I want to do another video just to show you today how just in case anybody misses that description. So here we go. Pull the pump up so you can see it. And you can see it. You can see there's air in here, right? No water. All right, pour the water in. Whoops. There we go. And no water, no water, no water, no water. Here it comes. Here it comes. Now it's full of water. That's great. That is great. And it should shut off in just a minute. Let's let it pump all that water out. 
If you want to know more about maintenance, check out the original video. Alright. We'll be right back after this commercial. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see if it's pushing it past the anti siphon device. Not really. Interesting. So, let me unplug this. Let me take the anti-siphon device out. Let me, oh, ooh, that's nice and cold. Oh, that's running down my arm. Oh, that feels good. Here, get back in the unit. That's great. That is a lot of water. All right, all right, let's take it out. And that's the way it was, right? That's the way it was, and you can see this is what it looks like, right? That's the way it was, but we're going to flip it over, all right? So, that's the way it was, right? We're going to flip it this way. Now, we're going to see if it pushes the water past. There we go. Plug it in. It should come on. All right, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, we got plenty of water in there. All right, let's make sure it's pumping water. Looks like it is. There it goes. All right. Now it's puffing water. All right. Now, is it going past the anti siphon device? Let's see. Ready? Yes, it is now. So it not only matters that you put the anti siphon device, it not only matters where you put the anti siphon device, but it matters which way. So, make sure you put it in the right way. So hopefully this is a good learning experience. See, it just shut off. Before it wouldn't even shut off. So now it is. And it's got this little hole right here. See this? So, it needs an arrow, but this is the back and this is the front. And hopefully that helps you in your journey. All right, I'm gonna mount this pop back and then we'll be in good shape. You've been watching Teddy Digest. I'm Tad, this is HVAC Tips for Technicians, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.